Congratulations on the show. Thank you. It's pretty exciting yeah. after Arrow. <laughs> yes, yes, that's yes. a good slow. Yeah. yeah, that was a very happy day when uh, we were at the upfronts and we saw that it was going to be uh, Amo, Amo Wednesdays. Uh, you know. <laughs> Did you not find out before? Was it like on the day? Uh, it's pretty much you find out with the rest of the world. <laughs> I mean, you find out the week before that you're even going to upfronts, that you even have a show. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty hair raising. So I've seen the pilot episode and it's very intriguing. So I'm just wondering, what can we expect in that first season? Um, well, hopefully uh, more the same, but more surprises as, as well. Um, you know, for us, we've always imagined it as a sort of coming of age story, but a sort of paranormal uh, science fiction um, second. But for us, it's about watching, uh, you know, Robbie's character, Stephen, uh, you know, journey from boy to man, but with the complication of uh, paranormal powers, which, you know, to me is just, that's what it's like to be a teenager, where, you know, everybody's dream is to have the things that make you weird actually, you know, secretly be a strength. And, and when I was a kid uh, <clears throat> in the 80s, I, you know, I, I always loved things like the Lost Boys that sort of were stories about outsiders that, uh, you know, discover that there's this this world that, that that is ready to like welcome them in and say, you know, you're you're one of us, and you know, that was re what really appealed to me about the series, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll honor that. And what would you say the theme of the sto uh, of the season will be? The theme of the season is basically, hopefully, <laughs> it's something that Phil should answer. Really, I, I think we've got up to episode six by now, but. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's much more about how is Robbie going to um, balance the worlds between Ultra and, and the Tomorrow People. Mm -hmm. And who are all the people the Tomorrow People are going to find? And will Ultra find them first? So it's, 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 um, it's always a cat and mouse. Yeah, and then we always have this sort of mythological story about his father and who his father really was. And it's sort of implied, who is he destined to become? And, you know, it's all the metaphor of species, uh, you know, whether you're a Tomorrow person or you're a regular human. But, I, you know, I think that's why... Adolescents or anybody who was an adolescent can relate to the story because you know I think when you're that age you do feel like a different species than the generation above you. And each of the characters are having their own origin story, so basically we're going to find out how each of them came to be there. 